Welcome to the 12th episode of Firebase Releases Deep Dive. That's right, we have already completed a year of deep dives. We've had a lot of releases in the last couple of months, and today I'm going to cover two of them, AI Insights in Crashlytics and device streaming in Android Studio. Together, these features can help you quickly troubleshoot your app and test it on a variety of physical Android devices. Let me show you how these features helped me a couple of weeks ago. I was checking the Crashlytics dashboard on my Firebase project when I saw this crash. It had happened six times with the same user. I needed to fix this crash fast to avoid causing even more frustration to this and other users. So instead of trying to reproduce the bug and understand the crash myself, which would take some time, I asked Crashlytics to help me analyze the issue and give me the recommended next steps by clicking on the Generate AI Insights button. And here's what Crashlytics told me. This crash was a null pointer exception, which means that I was attempting to access a null object specifically on line 87 of the sign-in screen file. The insights included some scenarios where this crash commonly happens and gave me the recommended next steps. It also told me that Android 14, the version where this crash happened, doesn't directly introduce limitations that would cause this specific crash. It also provided a code snippet that I could use to fix my problem. So with this in hand, I opened Android Studio and located the line where the crash was happening. The problem was in the email field. I was using a double exclamation operator to tell the compiler that the email string would never be null, which of course was not the case. And to fix that, I removed the double exclamation operator and I used the or empty function to have my app behave a little bit differently for users who don't have an email address. And to make sure the fix worked, I wanted to test on the same device and with the same Android version as the user who experienced these crashes. According to the data insights available on Crashlytics, all events of this crash happened on a Google device running Android version 14. So I went back to Android Studio, opened the device streaming window available in the device manager tool, and I reserved a Pixel 8 with API level 34, which is equivalent to Android version 14. And here's what happened. Once my app was up and running, I opened the app's account center and clicked on the signing button, which led me to the signing screen where the crash was happening. The email field was displayed correctly, even though there was no email string yet, so it was certainly no. I also typed a few letters on the field just to confirm the field behavior wasn't affected. Oh good, the crash was fixed. And this was just a simple new pointer exception. AI insights in Crashlytics can help you quickly analyze, understand, and fix many other crashes and issues, even the most complex ones. As you just saw, this can save you a lot of time and effort in the debugging process. And when you're ready to test your fix on a real Android device, you can use device streaming in Android Studio, which is powered by Firebase. And when you're done testing, all you need to do is return your device, which ends your reservation and triggers a full wipe of your app's data from the device. This way, you can rest assured knowing that the next developer who accesses the device will not have any access to your data. And that's all I had time for today. Thank you for watching and let us know in the comments if you have already used these features and what you think of them.